Hello everyone, this is Pavel from WP Zoom. In this video, I will show you how to add video backgrounds which are showing on hovering in portfolio galleries in Spiro Fin. So here is the portfolio gallery, a portfolio widget, but this feature will also work in the, when viewing your portfolio page. So what I'm gonna do is, is open a post, a portfolio post and edit it. In the video settings, we have a video background on hover tab. So if it's not already selected, just click on it. And if you have, and if you are editing a existing post which already has a video from YouTube or Vimeo, it will show you that you can use the same video. So it will be a suggestion which you can use here without copying the link. So you can copy a link if it doesn't appear here and insert it or you can click the button here okay let's i'll just paste the link and copy it and see what happens this process takes a little time so you need to be a little bit patient using these options you can select the duration of the video which appears when you hover a specific post like this example so we recommend using a very short video as you can see, actually, it can't be longer than 50 seconds, so that's pretty good. Let's say I want to make it 8 seconds. And you can also choose here the start time of your video. For example, if you have a video which has some black frames at the beginning, you can choose a later time. Let's say like this. And then click this button, insert video. Okay. As you can see, now it's a different video preview. You can update this. Okay, now you can see. In case you don't have this feature in your widget or in your gallery, make sure the feature is this feature is enabled. I'll show you quickly how you can enable it in the portfolio showcase widget in Inspira theme. So this is the portfolio showcase widget, which you can add using Beaver Builder very quickly. So I'm going to edit it, and if you look here, there is an option called Enable Background Video on Hover. Make sure it is checked. Okay, I'm going back now, and let's see now on the portfolio page. Okay, I have this feature enabled here as well, but if you don't have it, you need to go to Theme Options, and go to Portfolio Options section, and if you scroll a little below, you'll see here a feature enable background video. I think it's disabled by default, so it needs to be checked if you want to have this feature on your website too. And I'm gonna show you how you can replace this video with a Vimeo video. I have here a video. As you can see, this one works. And the reason this video works, it is because it is available for download. So if you are the owner of a video you want to embed, make sure you enable that specific video to be available for download. I'm gonna show you a different video. Let's try this one. Okay, as you can see, this video is not available for download, but only if you are the owner, you can change that. So if I would try to embed this video, Okay, actually I think I have to insert this one first. So first I'll insert and then I'll replace the link. As you can see for Vimeo videos, this feature works a little bit slower. So if you can use YouTube, that will be very great for you. Okay, I'm gonna delete and just refresh the page. Okay. Now let's put a okay. As you can see, there's an error. Oh, there's a problem in the link double slash. Let's try again. Okay, as you can see, this error message clearly states what's the problem with this specific video. You need to make it available for download. And if you have a Vimeo account, I'm not sure if this option is available for free accounts, but I'll show you how you can make a video available for download quickly. 
So I have my WPZoom account here. Let's go to this to edit a video I have. Okay, so under general options, you can select this option. People can download this video. Okay, and then save as such. And I'm gonna copy this link to see if it works. Yep, it works. No errors. So, this is the feature I wanted to show you today. Make sure to update your Inspiro thing to the latest version if you don't see this new option and feel free to use it. If you have any questions, you can comment on this video or contact us in the support desk on our website.